<laughs> okay, come on, Hoichi la, homo. So, welcome everyone. Um, right now it is seven o'clock on the dot, and we are on time. Oh, yeah, because then last time, Ole Jojo Panjong, we are early by one minute, and then sometimes Ole Tijo Yalan Panjong. So, I'm not but I am not looking at YouTube today because come on, I'll learn a lens. I bong on Yoko Halabong and I'll stream get a pig, then you'll learn a hypon to go on YouTube to my Discord game. If there's any problems, because I'm not going to be looking at the YouTube, we're just going to be looking at my slides, because I'm limited on mon monitor space today, guys. Um, give us a shout, post it into the live stream, um, hashtag, or like make yourself very visible. Feel free to spam the chat, and if you're from the Discord, and if you are lost, you are, and you have never posted into the live stream chat before, it's okay. Don't worry. Um, you can leave it. Discord username if you want to, but uh, we have our buddy Futon looking over everything, and he will he will let me know. He will message me <laughs> if any if there are any questions. Usually we have a Q and A time at the end of every slide or at the end of the entire lecture. And keep in mind that this time we are going to be switching it up a little bit. We are going to be playing a Kahoot game in the beginning, and then we're going to also be doing live audience games. But then, due to some logistic issues, we'll be doing live audience game part at the end. So, we've been playing Learn by Yaohei two games today. So, do 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 do. Let's start. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I am looking at the, at the stream. So, uh, well, the Google Meet slide. So, our announcements for today, uh, yeah, it got a little bit messed up. Like, the the, the whole text box shifted. Lang team, go slide. But first off, we are going to have a uh, game night, most likely on Saturday, June 29th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, if anyone has never been to the Lunar New Year Gala, feel free to look back at our stream and enjoy the fun times that we had to celebrate the Year of the Ox. But if anyone knows what we're talking about, uh, we are known for having really awesome community events. And we will be having a, a Cantonese game night and we will be echoing similar games to what we had, like trivia and everything. So stay tuned. Uh, if you haven't already, join our email. Uh, we have on our website, selecanthyslearning.com, which I'll show you guys in a second. But we do have a place where you can input your email to join an emailing list so you are on the first news. And also, if you have learned anything or enjoyed this live stream today, please support us on Kofi, like our Facebook page, like our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're just a little channel, so help us grow. And I'm really bad at reminding everyone about this because then I know that all the YouTubers out there call it in the guan guan, so... I always forget. I'm always like, thanks guys for coming. But really, if you guys can help us a little bit with all your fake accounts, stan us, like us, follow us, give us that karma on Reddit, do everything for us. We'd be internally grateful. And yes, help us grow our channel. Help us reach that 1,000 subscriber mark. And we're, we're a little far away, but then I know we will get there. And lastly, if you are a passionate Cantonese learner, speaker, or uh, very passionate about languages. We have a team behind the Cantonese, the Solid Cantonese Learning uh, brand, and we do a lot of uh, projects. Uh, this is one of them, like community events is one of them, but we do do a lot of projects and if you know our, how we came to be, it's from online courses on, it's on online classes on Discord. Um, join our team, we have an awesome fan behind us and we would love for anyone to have their skills and talented and efforts put into a good uh, heritage preservation a Cantonese heritage um, okay um, but keep in mind that this is a passion project so passion is required okay now see by Yitia, let's look at our next slide because I did mention something about the website and ta -da, this is the website so it's not super trendy but i hope you guys like this website and you guys will visit it anytime you guys are bored set it as your home page on google chrome on firefox on your phone because i know you guys want to see this this is really cute that green color reminds you of a chalkboard hand so this is where we keep all of our slides 
if anyone is looking for a slide to get more material for our previous vocab seminars, this is the place. We usually keep our slides with um, uh, voice recording for all the, what do you call it, vocabulary. So if you guys have been to vocab seminars in the past, you guys know that this is what you guys want. This is where you get it. So uh, all you have to do is just hit that and then you'll find on the, yep, on the top bar if you hit lessons and you'll have vocab seminar. And if you guys have any other questions, usually um, the contact form is pretty functional. So you can just type in your question there or if you have any questions, always feel free to just shoot us an email. So can learning at shima.com. Always happy to reply and we're always constantly replying. Sometimes we can't keep on top of it, but we're doing a pretty good job so far. So pat on back to the team for that. Woohoo. Okay, so let's start. How many people do we have? Okay, next slide, please. Now, the other question that I want to get you guys all to, um, whether you guys are watching this live stream or whether you guys are watching the post live stream, is where are you from? Not necessarily where exactly are you from in the world, but I want to know um, uh, where has our communication team been reaching out to, uh, and that's effective, and where you have heard about this event. So if whether you're from SCT Facebook or SCT Discord or another server on Discord, whether it's from Instagram or emailing list or our um, uh, Reddit post, please let us know and we'd be really happy because um, all these little bits of information really help us know um, how we should tweak it and maintain our presence and all the, the you know, the hard work that comes into promoting a brand online, very difficult stuff and we're just starting. So please let us know where you are from. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so let's go to the next slide. So let's just start off with the game. Let's warm up everything. And yep, you guys hear me type. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So the game is very, very, very simple. And all you have to do is just answer the correct questions in the allotted time slot. And to keep this quick, it's only going to be a 30 second time slot. That seems like it's 30 seconds, but it's actually not 30 seconds. It's more like 20 seconds because there is a YouTube lag. So when you see the answer, hit it. Don't forget. That's right. Teen K Mom gave the uh. Game pin is Mloksam Samlingao five six three three oh nine. Ooh, I see a lot of people popping in. Come on in, come on in, keep popping. I'm not looking at the YouTube. I have no idea how many people are watching this right now, but if you are, if you want to play, this is the time. Come join us. I have those tighter. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so just to warm this up, and we know that this is called back gassing like this one. We'll talk about that later, but let's see, let's just see how everyone's thing is doing. Our preliminary knowledge about Chinese last names. So go ahead and answer. It's all in English. Mo Tango, the timer's going. But if you guys want me to read it out, it is A. Monster, B. I. Kappa, C. Chong Kuo, D. Hei Ling. Which one do you think is the correct answer? Le? Be a gossip position, hai tai ko yong sing si le? Last name? Ta da! 
Thank you. Thank you for picking Monstat. The Genshin Impact fan has revealed themselves. <laughs> wow, Kiwi. Very good. Okay, so I talk about the next one. Okay. Tatimo. So what is the most common family name in Hong Kong? What do you guys think? A Chan. B Lei. C Zheng. D Wong. Got a one in four chance. Hit it. Mm-hmm,冇錯啦,A陳,因為啲男人係咪好多人都估咗你,a is the most common last name in mainland China? Cũng put in your best guess, you got a 25% chance. Okay, come. Which one do you think it is? Okay, so I got one in four chance. Okay, 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 I got one what is the second? Yangole A Choi Zai Chuala B Wong Ong C Lum Lim D Mm Go I'm finding like crazy rich Asians, right? Now which one? Which of those last names did you hear the most? Give it a shot. It might be that one. No chat to hai C Lim Lum La. Good job! But a lot of people got it. The answer's a little bit spread out. Oh, this one's worth double the points. Okay, so in China's 5,000 years of history, how many different royal family names were there? So you get a good one, Tonga Sing Si Wong, for Wong, Da Yira, okay? A, Sa Lop, B, M, M, C, Cha Sa Ba, D, Yap Ba. You know, they learn, huh? Am I? It's hard, very hard. Which one do you think it is? Time is flying, I need come say yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh child, I beat mutton. Guys are good. A lot of people got this one too. So proud. Christina, I see that streak. Keep it up, girl. Okay, which dynasty did the Li family rule? Lei. So, A. Tong. B. Song. C. Yun. B. Ting. Oh, oops. Missed the bracket. But B is Ting. Okay, Ting dynasty. Tong. Sun. Yun. Tong. Song. Yun. Ming. Ting. This will reveal how much cat time you guys watch. Trusting some of you. Another one. Very distinct. It's not a Han family name because Ting is not ruled by Han people. Raven. Very good. Another streak we have. Okay, another double pointer. How many last names did the original Fa Ga Sing include? And Fa Ga Sing is a book that has a list of many family names in it. A. Yep. B. Sorry, I forgot to put the I forgot to put the what we call it in. The letters in. Hopefully no one's colorblind. Cause then that was that was not very friendly of us to put that. Okay. Mocha say by some the most mm-hmm. Good you know, say by some yakala has shown to see how. 411 last names. Okay, next question. Oh, someone got a knock cookie out of that ring, guys. 
Got to beat him. <laughs> so top surnames of global Chinese population is Lei Wang Jiu, Zhang Chen Yang Wu, Lao Wang Zhao. What percentage of these top take in the world? What's everyone's best guess? A, 27%, B, say sub percent, C, M sub say percent, and D, look sub you percent. What are the chances that you have this last name in the global Chinese population? Top 10. Are you one of these top 10? I can tell you that I am. Ding ding. Oh, that wink wink. Mm hmm. I'm pretty basic. <sighs> so that's right. A. I chalk that case. I B. 40%. It looks kind of like it. I know. Whoa. Oh, everyone's streak is broken, but Lee, I see you moving up, climbing up that ladder. Okay, another double pointer. So, which is the most common folk sing in China? Words, I mean, last names with more than one word. So, A, Si Tou, B, Si Ma, C, Ling Wu, B, Ao Yuan. Some bina they say, Mr. E.D., Hayo, folk singer, what's that? These air make me sing, which one do you guys know the most? This one's tough, right? Most common folk singer in China. Guys, work harder. Gotta not kick P out, man. I see guys climbing. Okay, last question. Yuan Da Lei, Jade Emperor. Got family name, what is it? So bonus, I don't know if you A, Lei. B, Yu. D, Zhang. Sorry, two D. C is Zhang. Okay, D is Wang. Sorry. So, okay, just pick the color, guys. If you guys don't know, pick your favorite color. This one's the random one. This one's raw. So, put in your best guess, guys. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's 在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在一個在
你嗰個 last name 係乜嘢？顏勝王，但係唔係啊？有係呢個王，嗯哼，兩個王都喺度。Yeah，W N G。嗯哼，有人姓张，嗯哼，写个 grandmother's maiden last name， 嗯哼，好上。有人姓陈，有人姓刘，嗯哼。嗱，好多 a lot of us are you find a lot of my last name is in here too, but so I won't reveal that because 啲身份嘢嚟噶嘛，系咪？我仲要嫁人噶嘛，系咪 ？No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I need to look for a job. That's the real job. So let's look at the next slide. Because then, out of all these, I'm not sure if anyone can guess what the significance between this, but this is the 55 surname that have real China in history. So go back, you see a lot of actually non-Han Chinese last names, and a lot of us, I'm sure, right here, sitting in front of the computer right now, or sitting in front of your phone, is of Han Chinese dynasty, of, sorry, of Han Chinese heritage. And if you look back at that 55 list. A lot of them are, are actually not my Han Yan. What do you sing me like? Because、uh, China was ruled by different ethnic、uh, tribes as well, aside from the Han. So those with extra long names, or maybe they have taken Han Chinese last names, and they have also ruled as emperor. They might have one of those last names too. So watch out for those. If you ever meet someone that is Oi San Gao Lao, you know that means that they're the last. Uh, royal family, because then that's royal family last name of the Qing Dynasty, Qing Chiao 嗰個王族咧，就係愛新國羅啦。好 ，Let's look at the next next slide. Very cool, right? Uh-huh.、Mm-hmm. So the reason why we did this one is because then I、uh, thought this was a really cool topic, first of all, and I was I was just kind of just like thinking about like, oh, I really want to teach this to my private students, but then I was thinking, oh, why not just do this for um. Uh, Asian Heritage Month, because then this is a pretty helpful、uh, piece to know about our heritage and, of course, our pride in in the Cantonese and also Asian identity. So, Baka Singla, like the title of this live stream, is、mm-hmm. it's actually a book, and basically in Song Tiwa Song Dynasty, there was. A scholar who took in. Well, I'm pretty sure he's a government official too, not just a scholar. So he collected all of the last names in、uh, the China in China, and he wrote it all down. So he wrote it all down, but he didn't really put anything specifically、uh, in front of each other, except for like maybe the, the top royal last names in the first two lines. I see why that got the icing on your bean. So out of、um, The whole 411 last names it has expanded to a lot more nowadays. 但系咧，即系今时今日咧，诶、呃，我哋八家姓咧，有个 significance 咧，就系、是、咧 ，back in the day, uh, in ancient times, that's what, uh, anyone who went to school would learn. They would learn three books, and the first book is Sam Ji Ging La. Which is、um, the book about virtues, where it's like Yan Zi Chao, Sing Bun Xin, Zap Shen Yun, Guo Guo Lei, learn about virtues. The second one is Ma Ga Xing, where you learn, you know, all four hundred eleven last names, so you can greet people and respect each other very well, and like it's very helpful to learn. And the last book is Tin Zi Man Man, and then Tin Zi Man Tao Ming Yun Gu Ming Si, Yao Yao Tian Zai Zi Yang Chang La, and my thousand words. So by the time you graduated from like you know whatever schooling that you had, and you did all three books, like you've already put together like easily like over a thousand words. And the average, like the average Chinese characters that most people know, is like as a modern day person today is like three thousand words. So this already sets you up pretty well. Am I seen? So we call this some back team. So that's what people did. And then, of course, if you had the opportunity to do more schooling, you would learn like more stuff like poetry and money, money, other literature. But for the basics, this is what people started off with. Now, 
In Baka Singlef, there's no particular order except for rhyming at each line. So if you think about it, how aside from poetry, it's actually a very great mechanism that the Chinese language has to uh, help people memorize things is that we have single syllable characters. Uh, and it's also very easy to memorize because I'm holding it at one, the, they rhyme. So it helps because then imagine memorizing the Bible, but the Bible does not rhyme. Hosan Fuga Hamai, but instead we have this. So, or like a language, how like a Yitinia Yiking. So, I have the slide homo. So, family names in ancient China. I'm sure we're all dying to know how it was like for our ancestors. Hamai. So what we have here on the screen is which is like, you know, the turtle shell um, inscriptions. That is the earliest form of Chinese writing that they have found. So people uh, were able to find a lot of words that we already have today. And some of them, uh, these are some family names that was that have found on okay, on those turtle shells. And let me see if anyone has their last name here on this list, because then these are really ancient last names. Yao Man Sing Wong, Razor Pa, that's a really common Cantonese last name, right? Wan to sing Mo La, Wan to sing Hona, Wan to sing Mai Fan Yao, it's just Xiu Qin, but like sing Song Ya Ding Yao La, hein? Any Song Tai out there? This is Song Song Zhong Ki Tai Tai, Song Zhong Ki. 是不是? We have it back in the day and back and today as well. So even though this looks very ancient, but I can tell you that these are actually not the first last names in ancient China. The first last names, let's click to the next slide, please. So hi, you can go sing that. So we don't really need to know uh, what it is because then chances of you finding these people's last name is very, very low. But one of them you will see, and the one is is number three, Geng. Geng, yeah, it's very, very old. So Gu Ba Sing, the eight last names that derived from like um, ancient China. And what's interesting about this, I'm not sure if anyone can see the pattern, but it is correct, as you guys see on the slide. All of these have a lazy bean, which is the female radical, the girl radical. And the reason why it has a girl radical is because then it developed from um, China's earliest uh, matriarchy society. So everything that you have uh, to differentiate um, clans and everything because it's by a female leader of that clan, and usually it's their name. So. Out of here, the one that I would want you guys to take away to so, height number three, la, tama, ya, yi, sam, se, mm, yang la, yang. You'll hear a lot of really uh, famous people that derive from this last name, and I'll tell you why in a moment. But just to give you guys an idea, by the time it was like spring autumn period, like Chen Cao Si Kei La, Zai Hong Ji Si Hao La, okay. So hi, uh, there was already 50 last names, like over 50 last names. And over 20 of them had the female radicals. So that tells you like, you know, that's already the, the society, the significance. If we look at the next slide, we can learn about why. So we have Sing Life because Chinese people already in ancient history already knew that hey like like you gotta differentiate the bloodlines you can't have um people marrying too closely related to each other so we have sing sia to differentiate different clans and since it's matriarchal society we have loads of bean now we also have like you know different uh last name origin origins such as from like you know nature like horse ma or dragon mong and we do have a saying that if you have the same last name you cannot get married so it's very like old school so today we have already um broken past that because i'm <laughs> i'm pretty sure and in today's population, it'd be very hard to maintain that. But in Chinese, uh, ancient Chinese history, we have Singla, and everyone has Sing. Okay. 
but not everyone has C. Because then when we say last name, we translate it to today's language. Uh, Sing C, that means last name. But in ancient China, it was actually separate meaning. Sing hai sing, si hai si. Sing le was to differentiate your bloodline, right? But then when your clan got so big, was so of significance, am I right? Then you also have C. And usually it is only for noble class or royals in the pre-warring state era. So... When you have to differentiate a clan further, then you have Sia. Or if you're given like, you know, land or a title in particular by the king, then you will have C. So there's a line that we say that was in, um, that can help you in history, which is Sing So Yi Pi Fan Yan, Si So Yi Pi Kui Zina. So Sing was to, dif to differentiate between uh, marriage and Sia was to differentiate between the classes. But by the time Han Dynasty rolled around, it was combined with Sing. So we say Sing Si, Sing Si just to mean last name. So after Han Dynasty, it's still one thing. But then if you look at um, other cultures that are very similar or derived from Chinese culture, like Japan, Japan actually separates Sing and Si today uh, very separately, just like the pre Han Dynasty era. So if you guys are interested, go look into it. Very cool, right? So some of those examples that we have is Hong a, Hong is a Si, Hong Ji a Hong. And so in case of Hong Ji Confucius, his, his last name is not actually Hong, it's actually Ji. Ji is his last name. And then he's called Hong Fu Sorry, Hong Fu Ji. Uh, Fu Ji literally means scholar or teacher, like high level scholar or teacher. So when we say Hong Ji, Hong Ji, Hong Ji, or Hong Fu Ji, Hong is actually not his last name, but his Si. Another one is also Chen Na, Tai Ya, Yi Na. Usually these are the state last names, like, um, the countries, like the states of that time, and they are given that because they are assigned that land. Or they have a title, which is their job title as well. So, those are all job titles that people had in the past, and then their family and like their um, descendants has taken their and like their predecessors' uh, job title. And taking it as their last name. So, Sengun, Sima, Sito, all those are C, yeah, originally as C. So, come on, I got your last name. Let's look at the next slide. Yeah, then we know, have a clear idea what last name is. Let's look at the, how they came about to be. So, like I mentioned before, nature, animals, and plants. Long, Ma, Ao, am I? Mui, la, Mui is like plum flower, plum. Lei, la, which is like the very common Li, that's also from animals and plants. But, for the Lee ones, so stick around. I'll tell you a little bit later. And for the land ones, uh, it's also pointed from land. And we'll talk about that too. Ancestors or ancestral clan names. So this one's where I split into two. So either your ancestor was of significance or like someone, someone of the family lineage and their first name was taken as their... Uh, last name for their descendants. So Zheng is one, because then one of the reasons why there are some people that are have the last name Zheng is because then you can give you a guy Zheng, they can hi Zheng. It's like a guy Zheng. But it's like a guy Zheng, a guy Zheng. And they have um, his first name was Zheng, guy Zheng. And then because he has up significant, I think he did something cool or great. I can't remember, but I have it on the next slide further down. He... His descendants used the last name Zheng from his first name. For job title, like I mentioned before, so in Gun Si Ma Si very clear, right? Now for trades and skills, this is um so the examples that I have is To, which means potter. So if Harry Potter was in ancient China, his name would literally be like Harry To, Hale To. And then the other example that I have is Sung. And I remember I see someone in the Sal Cantius Traits um, Facebook thing. They wrote it. Their last name is Sung. Sung means um, business. multiple origin. But Sung is one of them for the skill. Because then they were tradesmen or businessmen. And then, of course, appointed by the king. If you were collected into, you know, the, the, the royal family or you've done something of significance and people get, the king gives you... His last name, that is of uh, utmost um, significance, am I? You have to go one day sing bo. You want to go one day soon, he go sing by lay bo. Now, I know the end there. Some people, they're actually, they did something bad. And you know, the king gives them a bad last name. So everyone knows that 
the studio band last name， 就、so, 好似個死字啦。喺古代，其實有人係死嘅，死先生 ，Mr. Death。OK， 咁呢個係因為你唔俾人刺死，但係你就以後就只剩死啦。咁亦都有咧 ，other I saw another one that's quite interesting is。Um, change due to conflict, and I group this up because then there's either conflict between like the hierarchy that like you had to change your last name slightly, because then someone of higher position than you is、uh, of the same last name, so you have to change a little bit. Hold on, got make add another radical or something that you have to change to like a different word that is、uh, different but similar sounding. Or there was a historical conflict where you had to hide your last name.、Um, for example,、um, your dynasty was over and you're of royal descent, and you have to change your last name, or else people are going to hunt you, right? Of the new dynasty, the new government, the new royal family, or war. That's also another one. So Fong, yeah, you know, let's list it. 好似一个好简单嘅名，系咪 ？Fong 可以点样变咧？咁有有啲人咧系据说咧，即系 Fong last name Fong， 诶。Because they had to hide their last name, it they changed it to C. So the C 字咧係有個方字，跟住有個誒好似個企人邊嗰個誒個 top 咁啦，跟住有個也字，即係方人也 ，also 方 people， 方人也。咁呢個其中嘅故事啦。跟住另一個咧就係個田字啦。咁呢個 I think it's very special because I I never would have guessed, but some people are named have the last name 田啦 ，because 以前個王字咧。即係大肚王 ，OK， the color yellow， they had to run away。咁亦都有啲人咧，為咗隱姓埋名 ，they had to hide their last name。They took away the top， they took away the bottom， and then they're just left with the character in the middle， and then they just took the little box， and 呢個就個田字啦。咁呢個如果有人咧係可以即係 find out in their family tree that this is what happened， that'd be really cool。But this is just what I learned during my research when I was looking at this topic。Insanely cool, right? I have a feeling that this is going to go on past an hour, but I'm sorry if anyone has to go. But you have been warned. Stick around for the game. I'm sure it'll be fun. Okay. So last thing is absorbed from other Chinese ethnicities. So some of them are directly translated into Han Chinese words, like 好似即系刀啊或者锋啊嗰啲啦 ，like knife or 锋 and it's from like the other name. I'm sorry, the other language. But some of them might be like also、um, taken for、uh, just like transcribed, it's like. Into the pinyin, like Oi San Gao Lo. That's a Manchurian, uh, Mun Chuk's name. So they just take it. They didn't translate it. They just took it. Oi San Gao Lo for what it sounds. But Dou Ah, Ma Ah, Dou Ah, Feng Ah. These are the ones that you might come across. The different kinds of Chuk Miao Chuk Ah. These are very cool. So let's go to the next slide. We talked a lot about last names. Let's learn a little bit about first names. And first names, there's quite a bit. Because then, uh. Back in the day,、uh, not not everyone had first names. Women did not have first names in ancient Chinese society. Very unfortunate, but they literally just called each other by、um, their last names. So if you're like Sun Chen, then you may have been called Chen Si, Li Si, ah, those. Then if you watch historical Chinese drama, you might pick this up when they say like Mao Zedong, ah, or like you know Mao Si, ah, those are very common. And though that is the case, they do have like little nicknames that they kind of keep between themselves and within the family. Yu Meng, Ah Xiu Meng, they do have that, but it's not official. If they ever get like you know,、um, like publicized or like spoken about or addressed, then they would just go by last name. So, last name, sorry, they'll go yeah. So first, first names were given to parents when. Uh, a baby is three months old. Sam did that, lah. Um, we look at the name, the name, the name. I should say. So, on the right side, on the right hand side, we have Zi Ming Ya Chong, Hao Zhi, Zhi Zhe, Ming Ya, Ming Bu Xiang Jian, Gu Yi, Hao Zi Ming. So, this one, this is what this means. We talked about this. Oh, don't know what. So, according to this, the name comes from.、Uh, 個直字啦 ，which means night， and 個口字 ，the word for mouth。So when it is dark and you cannot see the other person， then you call out their name。咁呢個就個名嘅 reason why， 誒個名就係咁樣嚟啦。Now for 個字字咧，咁有啲人喺度諗啦，誒、uh, is what's 字 ？Cousin is just 名字 in 
uh, Chinese, right? When we learn it, when you say, when you translate name today, it's just literally just 名字。张学友都识唱啦，系咪？你的名字和我姓氏，咁点样你分得咁清楚咧 ？Why are we separating it? But in ancient China, they did separate it because then only people of distinct reputations have the for respect. So if you want someone to respect you, then they will use the word Z. Uh, use your Z. Use your specific name Z. And it's given by elders or teachers, men for age twenty, women at age fifteen. So if you don't know that person very well, you would call them by Z. Or if they were your superior in the hierarchy system, you would also call them by Z. So then, what Z Fu came in? You'll never call them directly by the name because then that is rude in ancient Chinese、uh, manners. So, if you have Z, then you will have Z. If you're, if they're your Uh, Dong Seng, okay, am I? If they're younger than you or you're their elder, then you can call their their name, no problem. Now, if they have Mei and they have Ji, but in Tang Dynasty and Song Dynasty, because there was just so much scholars and like the literary world was just you know literally littered with scholars, we have Hoa. Hoa very simply、uh, described is they. It's the name that they gave themselves, because then they're a scholar, and then they usually use this to refer to,、um, you know, to sign off like their name, their their work, or like their reputation. Like they, that's how they choose their name. So beat hoa, what did beat jie? Same thing, like hoa. So if they have hoa, call them by ho. If they have jie, call them by jie. They have mei, then call them by mei. But that's kind of like. You have to be very close to them. Okay, so let's look at the next slide. Let's put this on to practice. Hmm. Oh, you wait. Be a say. I know. I'm here, but. 我咧講一句啦，我相信大家都知道佢係邊個嚟嘅，就係、是、牀前明月光，疑是地上霜。嗯哼，依、这個就係李白啦。咁李白咧 is a very famous poet in the Tang Dynasty. He's like the famous poet, guys. Let's put everything we put into practice. The first one is Sing 啦 ，Sing 咧 is his last name, and 佢嘅名咧 ，his name is 白。佢字咧 ，that his elder or teacher gave him is 太白。But because he is a very developed scholar of very very high distinction and reputation, and he chose this himself, you would also call him by his hoa, Cheng Lin Gu Si. So if we ever travel back in time and、uh, we meet Lei Ba, do not call him Lei Ba. He'll probably be really offended.、Uh, preferably, don't call him. Tai Ba either call him by Ting Ling Gu Si, okay? If you ever meet him, so. So as in Tai Ga Hi Go, I believe everyone is gonna gonna be like, ah, this is all so like mind boggling. Just trying to think it this way, it's as if like we have like Instagram handles or like usernames now. So you give yourself like a username. My username is Un Banana. <gasps> I just realized I forgot to introduce myself at the video. Oops. Anyways, so. I'm a banana, and a banana would be my hoe because it's self-appointed. Even though I am not of particular any high literary、uh, reputation or distinction, but all I'm old and my elders or my teacher did not give me a name. But I got mine, your mine, yeah. So, 大家可以咁样谂啦 ，OK? Let's go to the next slide. 睇睇佢好冇？今时今日，诶、呃，我哋啲中华八家姓又点咧？ So in the Kahu game, we learned that Chan is the most common、uh, Chinese last name in Hong Kong. Hi, Mai. So what we always say, we always hear this in like you know, people saying, "Oh, the most common last name is Chan Zhou Mao Ho Lah." Hi, Mai. The the top five, but actually, Ho Lah doesn't really make it in the top、uh, six. So, do 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 do. If you look at Wang Ah Wang, eh,、uh, also. 一二三四，第四個字 in the top row， 嗰個王字咧 ，it's not one， it's not the Wang in Hong Kong either。That one is the top last name in mainland China。But for Canton people， it's actually the second， the first word in the second row， 嗰個王咧 ，is the one for Chinese Canton people。And in the top Chinese family names， forty percent is Lei Lah， Wang Ah， Jiu Ah。
张、陈、杨、伍、吴，所以刘、王同埋周。So, I'm going to tell you a little bit. Just listening to it. I'm not sure if anyone has ever heard um, or know like one of each. Because I definitely do. Throw a rock. I'm sure you'll hit one of us. <laughs> so, let's look at the graph on the next slide. Put this into perspective. Because then we have a lot of Chinese last names. But just to give everyone a perspective, this is um, a graph of just people in mainland China. This is like the most recent consensus, I mean, sorry, census that uh, the Chinese government had did inside mainland. And Wang is the first. It used to be Li. It was Li for many, many, many years. And like on this graph, like all of these names that I listed here have more than 10 million people in mainland China. So you always feel like, uh, you know, common last names, but this letting you know how common is common. Okay, let's go to the next slide. And I know that a lot of us are overseas Chinese, am I? From, you know, um, so this is taken from Wikipedia. And we can look at all the different last name variations. And I think some of it's very interesting. I'm learning something every day because I'm um, aware I'm from, which is... I, I don't think I've ever met um, very many Vietnamese people or Southeast Asian people. It's not very common in Toronto. Like, there's a lot of Viet, but then, like, um, I just don't happen to know a lot of Viet people. So I, so all the Viet last names that I see here, like, I would not be able to match them to their Chinese counterpart. So I'm still learning that every single day. But even with, like, the Singapore and, like, the Southeast Asian, too. Very interesting stuff. You guys can jump onto the website and download these slides and you can take a look, closer look or head over to Wikipedia. But yeah, a lot of this is really cool. Even like a bak like it's always been like bai, pai, but then like when you get to like say, it becomes pe, 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 pe. And then like bak. And then if you think about the Korean, the Korean one is pretty easy to match up because then Korea is very similar to like um, Chinese and like Cantonese Chinese too. So, match that. But yo, I'm going to test everyone to see how well you guys can do that in the game later. So, let's go to the next slide. Let's see what this all means. And we did a poll and we collected over 92 last names, which is super cool. We didn't expect this much because I'm like a lot of those last names are surprising us. But the very top ones are Tan, Wong, Lei, Lam, Cheng, and I checked this on Monday. So, you know, I don't know. But, 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 so it actually came from Zhou Tiu, Zhou Dynasty. I'm going to say, uh, Yun Bun, uh, 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 Gave one of his descendants the last name Tama and gave him land. So that's actually from Holan, Sang, in Henan, Henan uh, province. And there is actually a Chan country, a Chan state there. So it got about that, but because it did collapse from like um, internal political issues, but eventually uh, the descendants of that Chan family has changed to Tin Si, it'll sing Tin, no? So, come see, come out. Who do we see on TV that has a tan? Let's look at this. Hit the next slide. Tai Tai She's going to show up in the next Shang-Chi movie, I think. Super, super pumped. TVB to Hollywood. And, and we also have Danny Chan, Tan Ba I believe a lot of our parents listen to a song. It's a, absolutely a great singer. Oh, this one's for my parents. And, Choi Hao Yi Go. You guys recognize him? Anybody see? Mm. 
嗯哼，冇错啦，呢、这个咧就系咧唐三藏啦。唐三藏咧唔系姓陈嘅 ，OK， 但唐 come from Tang Dynasty， 佢唔系姓陈嘅。其实佢个名咧系叫元庄，仲要系姓陈嘅添，佢系叫陈元庄。OK， his last name is actually Chan， not Tang。Pretty cool， 系咪 ？And yes， it is from Sayogi。If anyone watched Journey to the West, that is the Buddhist monk that has traveled all the way to India to brought back, translate the scriptures and brought it back, and took like a seventeen-year-old journey. Oh no, nineteen. So either seventeen or nineteen years for that trip from China to India and India and back. And you have a monkey king, and it was a very famous、um, novel eventually.、Uh, even though it, this is an actual historical figure, but he is also a very popular novel in in our top four Chinese top four novels. So. Let's look at next one. What's the next last name? Next last name is Wang. How many Wangs do we have here? So, Wang is the ninety-six backgassing, and where it came from is called Ying Sing. Lah, and Ying Lah, yet do hai a Ying Sing is is also a royal last name as well. And specifically, you got that type Ba Yik Lah. So there's a there's uh because. Ba Yikle is the first person to sing Yikle, and he had fourteen、uh, last names that derived from his clan, and one of them was Wang. And because、um, his descendants got、uh, appointed a chunk of land, which was also at Holam, but he、uh, not at Holam. I mean, so I assume it's quite close to Tan Guo and Holam Guangxi. Maybe a different dynasty though. So. He, His descendants got Wang Guo. There is actually a, a state, the Wang state of the, of the Zhou Dynasty. Oh no, wait, same time. Yeah, same time. Although it's also, also is that Wang Guo. So there is a Ying Sing. So before people were named were last name Wang, it was Ying. And we describe that character by Tongshan. That Wang Jie is Dai Tou Wang, or the Gongha Wang. Gongha Wang is for like the location where it's from. So Gongha is like that general area where a lot of people settled after Wang Guo collapsed, and then they went to Gongha. Then we have a lot of people. Then why? Because the their state collapsed, and they took on the state last name to be identified as like you know like people of like the Wang state of the Zhou Dynasty. They all settled there. So there's a lot of people saying Wang in in Gongha. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Okay, let's see if anyone recognizes these people. Uh huh. More go high in Doyan Bo, who is not a single person from modern. So of significance, we have Wang Fei Hong, ah,、uh, a very historical,、uh, significant in recent years. Okay, it's Qing Dynasty. Ah,、uh, he's one of the top Chinese martial artists of, I would say. China in the last like what like two hundred years, very very top and very significant person. Also like you know like helped with the, the army and like you know stuff like that during the wars. And on Wu Xia, Mo Hap Xiu Xia, but we have Wang Yong. Ah, she her character is called Wang Yong, this girl, and it's from Sandy Wang Jun. And the guy on her left is the actor is called Wang Yuan, but his character is called Gao Xing. But some, some very fun celebrities, I guess, are also called like Wang Chui. Yeah, go there. Then TVB, how do you sing Wang? Wang Hou Yin, ah, my favorite, lah. So, yeah, then, when you guys take care of the show, then we get see the credits. Take care, like, one of the people sing Wang, lah. Okay. Now let's hit the next slide. See what our next last name is.、Mm -hmm. So it is Li. So for Li, it is back at sing number four. Made it onto the first the first list, and for this one, the origin story,、uh, very simply put, is that also from Ying Sing lah. So like Wang, this is also from from Ying Sing. The high lah, eh, 亦都有可能咧系咧诶 ，a long time ago. But I can't get your go. Go and get me a man team. Go a historical figure. But then, um, there was a very, a very bad emperor in the Zhou Dynasty, and because he because ah, Guo Xiu Zhou Wang, 
，係啊，好似叫做，我唔記得咗佢嗰個嗰、那個人叫咩名添。Anyways， 誒、uh, 有個忠臣嘅 ，there was a good， there was a really good official， a very righteous official， and because he tried to tell the king to， hey， you shouldn't do things this way， and because it was a very， ah，、uh, evil and very bad king， he ended up， ah，、uh, killing that guy。And his family had to flee overnight. And so when they fled the city,、um, she didn't want the his wife didn't want to go back to、um, her original home in fear of you know causing everyone else to die over there. So she went off to the wilderness. And with her sons, she had nothing to eat and nearly starved. But because she was able to eat mokji, which is fruit of a tree. Okay, so what we say fruits. Come on, so yeah, so like you show. So yeah, in order to thank the tree, she used the last name Lei. So the Lei has a mokji and a mokji. Ah, of course, ah, actually, it has already been called Lei. So Lei, as in like the first word that you see, Lei, is the one that has the mokji and the mokji. So Lei, as in like the first word that you see, Lei, is the one that has the mokji and the mokji. He was the last、um, emperor of Zhou Dynasty, and he was a terrible emperor. Like he lavished in a lot of excess things, killed people on whim, and like basically let the country crumble while he just partied inside his palace all day. So let's see what people we know today on TV. Hmm. Oh, shall that so of significance? I think we've gone late. We don't want Bruce Lee. And my favorite singer in Hong Kong, Lei Ha Kan. So yeah, I'll see some here. And then, of course, we also have the person that we learned about today, Lei Ba Le. See, seen our poet. Okay, so second last, second last last name for tonight.、Uh, we have the Lam Lam. Mm-hmm. Back as I've been, one hundred and forty-seven, and. This one is actually another story of Zhao Wang.、Um, originally, it came from Zi Xing, that is Hong Zi, that is Hong Zi's Xing. Ah, in Shang Dynasty, in Shang Dynasty. But by the time it got to Zhou Dynasty, there was this 又系另一个忠臣啊。依个我记得啦。依个个名叫诶比干。比干咧 ，he was another righteous. Ah.、Uh, Government official, and he was also related to the royal family, and he also tried to tell Zhao Wanlin like, "Hey, like he locked inside himself with, uh, inside, and just try to tell him to do things correctly and to like tell him to stop, you know, like just killing like mass and you know stop using so much like you know energy to, you know, he's just totally not doing the right thing, but because Zhao Wanlin, Bo Guan, like him, he was a terrible king. He immediately." Uh, killed Bei Gan by ripping his heart out. Not only that, he also immediately sent、um, the guards to、uh, Bei Gan's family home to eliminate to just like wipe out his clan. And of course,、um, not, not very many people survive. And of his two wives,、uh, one of them survived, and she was able to flee with a few handmaidens to a place called. Lam Sek Sat lah, okay. Kamu Lam pun saya mean forest, kamu apa main? Kamu Lam Sek Sat and Sek means rock, and Sat means room. Kamu Lam Sek Sat. So they fled. They're really lucky to flee. And when she had her son, uh, it was already the end of the Zhou Dynasty, and the next king looked for the. Descendants of the previously righteous officials of Zhou Qiu, and then they found、um, this wife and 誒依個小朋友啦。咁依個小朋友咧之後咧就叫誒林建啦。林咧 is from where they fled to to 林石室啦。And 建咧 means like that they had perseverance and like did not and they survived. 嗯，亦都係河南嘅，依區 also in Henan. It's a very, very special place. A lot of last names come from here. Well, it's a historically significant place. And to describe a character, we usually say Lam Lat. So Lam Lat. Okay. 
for our very last name. And yes, we are going to do. Oh, almost forgot. 睇下我哋有啲咩 significant people 添。So 一個就林子祥啦，又係咧我哋好多我哋 parents 嘅年代。誒、uh, ，he sang a lot of great songs. And if anyone watches old Hong Kong movies, we also have 林青霞啦 ，Bridget Lin. I'm not gonna put a lot of like new people here, cause then I think a lot of us are. A lot of us are still stuck in the 80s and 90s in Hong Kong. Let's just say that I know a lot of us are. And but for historical significance, I'm not sure if anyone has been to Ma Zhou Miao in Hong Kong or Macau. Ma Zhou, because then Ma Zhou is um. I don't want to say she's just a goddess, but like she's definitely like worshipped for the goddess of the sea. But she actually um she used to be a person and she was called Lam Ma Lam Ma, and she was a girl who was very good at traditional Chinese medicine and swimming and fishing and like you know um all all the crafts, and she was also a person that like whole house in Fumala and there's one day where her brother and her dad was at the sea, and she tried to save them both but she was only able to save her uh brother. And she died young, and then to remember her, the village also created the a shrine, and which became a temple. And the end, I could jump much. Oh, okay, so okay, that's a man. Her real name is not 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 not. So, just have a sing. Let's take a look. No choice, sorry. Chang, mm-hmm, Chang. Baka sing up beat number twenty-four, and the origin of this one. Um, this one's actually kind of cool because then、um, he's supposed to be the Yellow Emperor's grandson, the Wang Dai Lan. So like, like this is like way, way past like the dynasty periods, and um, apparently the first one who had the Zheng last name is called Zheng Fei, and he was a person that invented the bow and the arrow. So if you take it apart and let's look at the character description first, um. 將個字咧 ，so the radical 係個公字啦 ，which is the little squiggly line， and it's actually the character for bow， and it does look like a bow， right？ It has a handle， it has like the arch， and the other word is 將 or 長 ，the word for long， but also means to 將 ，which is um， 即係長官嘅長 ，oversee。So when we say Uh, when we describe our, our last name, it's like, oh, they have been about Zheng, because I'm like, oh, as we all know, there's a lot of different like you know Chengs like Zheng, eh, a very common sound, right? A model would describe it as Gong Zheng, Gong Zheng, Gong Zheng, okay. From Chai Zhou, eh, Zhou Zheng Fei, there was also this Gai Zheng. Dai Zhang is a spring autumn period, a high-ranking official、uh, because he is of、uh, such significance. They also took his last name and used Zhang. And of course, from our Kahoot game, we also know that Yu Wan Dai Dai is apparently Dai Sheng Zhang's name. Zhang Jian, Zhang Yao Yin, Zhang Ba Yin. From you, this is just from mythology, from folklore, so it's unverified. Just like how we have not verified Jade Emperor yet. But if anyone's interested, great places to start looking. And let's take a look at our final, our final celebrities. And da, 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 da. so the one on the left is Zhang Fei, the one with the bow and arrow, that portrait. And we also have Yu Wan Dai Dai Lan. But for our celebrity today that we see on TV is Gan Zhao Zhang Hao Yao. 冇错，佢就唱你的名字，我的城市，各位啦。好，大家学唔学到嘢 ？Do you guys learn anything? You guys find this fun? Being <laughs> the matriarchy back. <laughs> yes, time, time to catch up to be an eighties. There's a lot of. There's a lot of great movies from that. Personally, I loved like the the martial art movies back then. Mm-hmm. Ah、uh、ha! -huh, you see, you see, Barbara. Mm-hmm. Or like a young Mei Ling. She looks very cute and very pretty. The best role I for Wang Yong. So, any questions? Do 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 do. Yum 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 day.
No questions? No questions. We're going to game time. Almost? Okay, let's bring it, guys. Let's bring it up. So, for today's game, we have prepared a simple calling game. So, you'll be selected at random. All you guys have to do is just swipe the QR code, um, and you will get... You'll, you'll be at our meeting link. So... Excuse me. Just burped. That was very rude of me. Oh, you see. But yes, okay. So all you guys have to do is just swipe that QR code. Um, can we dump it into the chat too, the meeting link? I think I have put it on. I, I think I pinned it into the chat, um, uh, Futon. Can you help dump the link? And we're gonna let some people in. So we're gonna play three rounds of this game and each time is gonna be a different person. So we have three lucky people who gotta play this game. So go ahead, uh, swipe that QR code. Oh, someone, someone already, some already already in. Okay, so everyone else, just continue to hit it. Um, I'm just gonna let the first person in right now. We'll bring up the QR code, or you can use the meeting link. Okay, okay. I'm gonna jump back. Go homo. Okay, oh, there you go, Hello, they sing my ear. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Sing Wong. Yeah. I'm going to ask you, do you have any have any very famous people in your in your family by any chance? Are you related to any celebrities mm. or any any politicians? Mm, no, I don't think so, anyway. Don't think so. It's okay, me neither. Mm -hmm. Just hoping for a chance. You know, it's just trying to jumpstart my, my TVB dreams. No, I'm kidding. So um, for this game, it's very simple. All you have to do, um, uh, uh, don't want to dox you, but it's okay if I just call you by your first name. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. So that... I shouldn't have asked last names and first names, but you you provide me with a fake name if you want. No, you can use my last name. Oh, okay. So, Lucas. Yeah, well, hey, hold on then. Uh, all you have to do is just match the last name that you see on the sticky, the character, to the uh, significant figure that you see. We have a picture of it. All I think you just drag and drop. And... We're going to give you a Jamboard link right now. So can you open the Jamboard link as well? Is it in the chat, Pig? Mm -hmm, no problem. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So to play as Lucas, all you have to do is just hit the chat and there's a link there and you're gonna open that up and you're gonna be on call with us and pay how to get up with that chung homo. It's all by random. How much confidence do you have? Are you good at reading Chinese? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm on page I access or open oh Google chat link. Oh, Got away. Everyone in the audience, let's give him some confidence. Pop, 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 pop. Give me that clapping emoji. Pop, 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 pop. Okay. 
Okay, let me know when you're ready. You're ready to go to Hoi Bo, homo. Oh, should we let him guess? I mean, should we let him choose? Pink? How much? Mm, Lucas, pick one number. One to three. Which one do you want? One. One? Okay, go with one. Okay, ho. Oh. Daya <laughs> chana, pick. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is drag the yellow sticky. Uh, do you have the timer, by the way, or do you want to open the timer, Pig? Me? You have the timer? Okay, oh, we're going to look at the timer. No pressure, but you're going to drag the sticky note on top of each per each picture, okay? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Easy game, right? Easy? Okay, you two. Anytime you're ready. Is the timer ready, Pig? I can't tell. <laughs> is, the, is the timer ready? Okay, ho, oh, Sam, yeah. Lucas, go. Um, there go. Uh, 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 Oysengot they're all emperors or all kings. The first one is Mo. Right. Uh huh. Audience, does anyone in the audience know? <sighs> Don't forget there's a timer. Just guess. <laughs> hmm. Is this your final submission? Mm. Well, apart from who's it Tian, and then that's obviously the the monkey king from Tian. Mm -hmm. Monkey King Sing Ma Yeah. Uh Tell you pick the hardest level. So I got a bit of chance in Kahomo. Oh, Jimmy, go ahead. Let's pause the timer. Let's answer Kahomo. You are high Holland. You go, let's go. 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 Let's go.
Let me shuffle it a little bit. So let's reveal each picture. So the first one, the only female emperor, and she was from the Tang Dynasty. The third one, Zhang is from Ming Dynasty, is the Ming Dynasty Emperor. He he used to be a hobo. He's been he's been homeless. He's been a monk. He's been like chase man. Like he's been through a lot and he's became king. Very interesting person. And Dai Sei got little that the Ange. Oi Sun got law. That's the Qing Dynasty Emperor. And this guy is Hong Hei La Kang Xi. And like Ungo. The guy who started the Tang Dynasty. Chen Qi Wang, the one who united China. Chen Qi Wang. So the fifth one, yeah, the fifth one, yeah, the fifth one, the fifth one, the fifth one, the fifth one, the So, did really well. They did really good. Good job! I heard that like even me rubbing my hands is like really loud on mic so I think I have a really good mic but I want to give him a very good round of applause because he did amazing thank you Lucas okay so what you're gonna do is you can hop off I'm just going to move on to the next person and anything you want to say to everyone right here probably want to say good luck am I yeah good luck I know. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for Tamga or the on it. See you next time in our next event, okay? Mm -hmm. You did really well. You picked the hardest one by accident. Okay, thank you so much, Lucas. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, let's look at the next person. Okay, three minute time. Okay, so. Oops, sorry, I forgot I was talking to people. Okay, so guys, just to make the game flow a little bit better, we're gonna give you guys a three minute timer for each round, okay? So, uh -huh. anyone wanna scan in? I think someone dropped out of the call that I had lined up. So feel free to scan or click the Google Meet button. I promise it only gets easier from here. Okay. Guys, save my hat game try a modi idea. Anyone, any brave souls who are willing to give us a shot? Oh, you don't have to enable cam. Um, it's just your browser setting. All I have to do is just turn the camera off when you join. Try hitting it again, and I promise I won't look, and then turn your camera off, okay? What's the question? Oh, it's, we're playing a game now. What's the question? Okay, done. Yep, Joel. Okay. Oh, sing my sing my You are Hing Toy. Oh, I will sing you. Sing you. Mm hmm. So, what can we call you by? Uh, I think I'm going to call you. How did you find out about our event? How did you find out about our event? Uh, I found out through SCT. SCT on Discord. Oh, Discord. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah.
，哎呀，真係太可惜啦，我都想上香港啊，咁就唔緊要啦，或者再開過啦。OK， 頭先你知道點玩啦嘛，係咪？誒、呃，俾個俾個都俾個選擇你啦，你想要二定三<音樂> ？Do you want to pick two or three? Pick one. Uh, pick three. Three? Okay. Yes. Let's go for three. Okay. 咁依個咧就考你咧睇下咧，即係，嗯？所以，我哋嘅 say， 我就要 pick。OK。OK。So let's start。Do we have the timer？ OK。OK。OK。So let's start。嗯 ，OK， 即系游戏要玩啦 ，time is gonna start， 咁我哋开始咯 ，OK？OK。OK，, okay. okay 好 ，Take give us the the note。OK， 开始啦。All you do is just drag the sticky to whichever person that has the last name, and they're all Korean. But as we know, Korean people use Chinese last name， 系咪？系啊。系啊。有冇一啊韓？有冇睇韓劇啊？有冇聽韓國歌啊？我我嚟 go for。Oh, click the the Jamboard link. Almost. Yeah, all you have to do is just click the Jamboard link, and you will be able to go into it. See. Sorry, didn't give you uh, didn't give you a thing. Oh, there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So you see it, right? Yeah. So it's, it's a blank for me. I think. Yeah, I see it, but it's blank. It's blank. Hey, uh, technical difficulty. <laughs> Yeah, it's all blank for me. I don't know why. Mm. Oh, it's all blank? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Okay, my audience, stand by while we sort this out. Let's see. I sent a request. Oh, I see the request. Oh. Mm hmm. It the request didn't pop up. Okay, now we're here. Okay, 好的，我们现在开始吧。Okay, 好。这个是啊 ，Spring Four. Do you see all these beautiful people? 嗯嗯哼，咁我哋开始啦，好唔好 ？Okay, anytime you're ready. Okay. Um. Do you, can you guys just draw a line for me? Sorry, I don't think I, I'm still not getting it. You're still not getting it? Yeah. Okay, then good. Then you tell me. Um, I think I just know IU, so IU is Li. Li. Uh huh. IU is Li. Okay. Li Zhi An. Then I don't think I know anyone else here. Anyone from the audience that can help him? I think I saw someone say that they're a Korean boo. I see a whole lot of that. Oh, I think the first one is from Blackpink. I think Jenny Kim, and I know Kim is 
Qing and Chinese tongue. Mm -hmm. I think I need help with the rest. I'm not sure. Come on, my my friends in the audience. Can we help our pang out over here? I don't know. Is the third one is the third one big big bang? Haya haya big bang ya. Bei sang. Uh what was his name again? Let's see. I'll give you a clue. It's an ancient last name. Ancient last name? Mm-hmm. Is it... Let's see. Oh. Someone in the audience is helping. <laughs> yes, please help me. Mm-hmm. Asian, you got lazy, Bina. That's right, Asian. But I'm. Mm-hmm. It's. Cool. How's the, the timer one? going? Hmm? Which one? The third one from the character pool. The third one from the oh, from, from right. the left and from the right. Paul. Mm -hmm. yeah. Being got saying Paul. Eh? Paul. Uh, the Big Bang person. Second one's Song Jun Ki. Mm -hmm. Some song. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, the Big Bang member is Kang. I don't know who is the soccer player. I didn't know him either. It was it was our TA that, that added the soccer player, but I was like, oh, okay. A T sing. I don't recognize the rest. Okay, there's a lot of clues inside the audience one, inside the audience live chat. I would tell you to look there. But the how's our timer doing? Kim. Okay, the seconds. last one, the last one is gold again. So Kim, Ching, Gum. Mm -hmm. oh, that's it. Okay. Because who know that who knew that we'd be learning Korean last names in a Chinese lesson course, right? But we threw this in there because we know that a lot of us are are Korea boots. But low key, a lot of us on the TA team are too. But thank you so much. So, Yay, thank you. <laughs> this was really hard on my Olana. Okay. Thank you so much for joining. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, so let's reveal the answer, Pig. Uh-huh. Okay. So Jenny Kim, I'm good. Come Mm -hmm. And our last one is our BTS. So, hi, Kim. Kim Sokjin. Sokjin, Kim Sokjin. I'm not sure. 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 I'm Last round, I promise to be a little bit easier. I'm calling all those TVB people. 
睇劇嘅，你冇理由唔識。呢、这個九秒九一定搞得掂。有冇有興趣？最後一鋪、这个、呢個咧就係、是呃、香港藝員嘅 Hong Kong Entertainers。Let's use our Google Meet to join. Someone said I don't know that Chinese actors post 2000. Well, I can let you know that everything on here is not. Well, some of them are post 2000. <laughs> Tiang Jiang Korean is Kang Kang K A N G Kang Kang Dae Sang. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 好，我哋有最後一個參賽者啦。請問你食乜嘢啊 ？What's your last name？ 你當我姓賴啊？姓賴。<笑> OK， 我哋開始好冇？你係咪對好有信心 ？How much 信心啲嚇？睇完之前嗰兩兩晚。啊，依度有幾多幅啊？<笑>三六。九十，誒、呃、最少七成啊 ！No， 七成、uh, ，OK， 五成，依樣啲相比，啲相比較細，我睇唔清楚。哦、oh, ，你誒、呃、開個 Jamboard 應該可以 zoom in 嘅。誒、呃，唔識 zoom。嗯哼 ，hit the Google Meet chat， and then you will be able to， 誒、uh, click the Jamboard link。I don't see the Jamboard thing that you're talking about. I'm new、uh, to this. You're new to this. Don't worry. Okay, step by step. Because my, because my logistics, the other month, that's why we did this game last. But do you see the message in the Google Meet link? I see. You, yeah, I see it. Yeah. So if you click on it, and then it'll open up、um, a Jamboard on your phone, and all you have to do is just open it. Open up to the third frame, right, Pig? Third frame, and I sent a request. Oh, I see it. I'm gonna prove it. Do 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 do. Okay, how? How do you not? Tell me how. Hello, can you open it? I'm refreshing. Yeah, I can. I I can open it. <laughs> Yay! Okay, how do you not? 之前冇上次嗰個咁麻煩咯，上次嗰個好對唔住 Simon， 好唔好彩，有啲 logical logistical issue， 但今次應該冇啦。So what you're gonna do is click on the third frame， 啊哈 ，click the arrow and you get to page three and you, this is what you see on the screen， right？ Does it match？ 哦，開始咗啦 ，timer 都未開。Oh， sorry， sorry， sorry <笑>。Okay, how high is he? Very have faith in him. Oh, I don't see any other names. I'm looking for the name of the name of the name. Who is the name? 个角子，个角字由耳仔边嘅，唔系嗰个，嗰系个衬字。个角字一点一画个口，跟住个字，跟住耳仔边嗰就系个角字啦。啊，依、這个歌星嘅名啊 ，Kelly Kelly Chan。OK。啊。啊，依、這个周润发。嗯哼，阿周润发，嗯哼，依、这个女女仔我唔识佢个名。哦、oh, ，actually， what what word is this？ 嗰、那个有个金字，隔篱系个重字，加埋就系个中字啦。OK， 诶、uh, ，依个咩字啊？呢、这个一点，逐个谷字就系个容字啦。I I. I can't tell who this person is. A TVB actor, right? Which one? Uh, this one. Only. Oh, I I didn't do this 
I thought oh, I did this one. I can't tell you who it is. Oh, it may be the sticky one under. Yeah. Uh, th this is TVB actor or singer, or you can't say. Uh, okay. 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 Yes, everything is up correctly. Some of them disappeared, but I'll reveal how to answer. Homo. Okay. Help. Pause the timer, please. Okay. So, 第一个我哋由上至下中，冇错，嗰、那个就系钟嘉欣啦。跟住下边嗰个就系佢好拍档林峰。嗯哼。住呢、這個呢、這個拍得我啲嘢麻麻麻，梗係就係阿黃宗澤啦。咁佢姓黃嘅，咁嗰個 A 唔係用，嗰、那個個用字係錯嘅。哦、oh. 嗯，嗯哼 ，OK。跟住喺隔離第二行右上邊下邊嗰、那個，頭先我 short 過啦，李克勤換咗張相啫。跟住下邊周潤發，冇錯，都係啱嘅。跟住隔離，咁當然有古天樂先生啦，都係啱嘅。跟住郭富城，都係啱嘅。跟住最後一行就係、是、呢個錯咗啦，呢、这個係黃祖賢咩？佢叫容祖賢啊！哦、oh, ，容祖賢哦、oh, ，I was thinking、啊、Wong 啊，係啊，黃祖賢係錯嘅，佢嘅名係叫容祖賢。祖賢，嗯嗯，我哋聽佢嗰啲，我哋喺上次錄音嘅嘉文嗰度聽好多佢啲歌，係咪？嗱嗱啲啦，嗱嗱啲啦，嗱嗰個冇錯啦。跟住 Kelly Chan 陳慧琳，嗯哼，錯一個。呢、这個最難估，我覺得，因為即係好耐冇睇佢拍劇啦，就係、是、李思琪嘅。跟住大家見唔見到個 theme？ 就係《家好元慶中秋》就係嗰套劇啦，《家好元》。好，嗯哼，多謝你同我一齊玩啦。Thank you so much for playing. And this is the end of our event today. I hope everyone had fun. So， 有冇嘢想同我哋一班觀眾講？覺得呢、这個有冇嘢想同我哋講啊？我哋呢位最後一位。朋友仔，冇閃咗。<笑> Anyways， thank you so much for playing。我哋希望下個禮拜可以見到你啦，同埋我哋所有觀眾 ，all our audience too。Hope to see you guys next time。Mm. Did we go back to the other presentation? You can't tell. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, so I know I did just double check, and that's right. So, if you guys learned anything today, or you guys had fun, support me on Kofi. Support the team. We're just starting a small, and uh, yes,、yeah, stay tuned. Join our newsletter. Talk to us on Sol Canteen's Trades Discord. We're usually hanging out there as well. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. And of course, send us some love. We'd love to keep in touch. Okay. And hope everyone has a great month of May. Happy Asian and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. 就咁告別啦，下次再見，拜拜啦，各位。